right, it's Eagle Steve here. Um, unfortunately, I know it's kind of windy out here right now, but I'm just going to give a little update. So, so basically, the car is almost finished. I would probably say about 90, 95% done. So uh, right here is the front battery pack area. Six batteries up there. So everything works well in the car. It's no problems at all. Lights work, the works. Had safety done about a week ago, and everything's fantastic. Inside here, uh, you can see the uh, onboard dash. This area here will show the state of charge of uh, all six battery packs. And over there in the console, we have a uh, battery disconnect. That's the main disconnect for the 72 volts. And behind the seat here, we have uh, that's one of six charges back there, putting out 20 amps into the batteries. All right, so it's sort of a quick charge. And over in behind here, we have another 12 batteries in the bottom here. And uh, that's almost finished compartment there. That's a little more wiring and cleaning up to do cable management and stuff. Down below you can see the uh, electric motor. That's a 72 uh, volt electric forklift motor. This is a uh, 72 volt uh, 600 amp uh, Zappy controller. And inside this box right here is the potentiometer for the pet foot pedal. So it takes a signal from the foot pedal and converts it into an electronic signal that's it sends to the Zappy. And the Zappy controller there basically acts as a gate so it opens up how, many, how much amps and volts out of these packs here. And here we have a DC DC converter that converts it from 72 volts DC to 12 volts, pretty much 12 volts. But it's actually reading about 13.6, uh, so it gives it a little bit more power so that uh, it runs all the accessory uh, stuff, the uh, radio, lights, fogs, and stuff like that. So basically, below here is an accessory battery. So the DC DC converter goes into the accessory battery there. And there's any of the uh, spurt on or the surges that the uh, 12 volt system may uh, run into. Up in here is the vacuum pump that's in there for the brake assist. Because when you remove the internal combustion engine, you need to replace that vacuum in order to aid you in braking. Okay? So around in here, basically, is the interior here. So I don't have the, the actual um, dash working yet. Um, I have a GPS unit that will go here, actually it's inside the house right now. And basically that tells me how far I travel and uh, the speed I'm going as well. So, that's just a quick little update and uh, that's Eagle Steve saying his uh, project here is almost done. And uh, there she is there, she's uh, plugged into the uh, house power right there. So this one here takes roughly about three hours to charge right now, so it's uh, not too bad. So there you go, that's the electric conversion. Uh, Update from uh, Eco Steve. Catch you later.